Hey everyone, I'm in my uh, main snake room. I'd like to do an additional segment on this channel, which will be introducing individual animals within my collection. I don't know for sure how often I'll shoot a video. I figure I'll mix and match with the tip videos that I do in addition to the episodes, and I'll alternate between tips and introducing animals. So the first animal that I'm gonna to introduce to you is Black Magic here. She is a Sumatran short-tailed python. I'll come a little closer so you can see her better. Uh, she was produced here on September 24th of 2015. Uh, being her age, which is four years old, normally they'd be a little bit larger than this. I do slow grow my animals. Um, I do believe that with their slow metabolism, slower is a little bit better. Uh, so I want to have her full size for next season. Uh, which will be the first season that she'll likely be paired up. So Black Magic was produced from Tux and Sambuca. Tux is a Jeff Hartwig produced uh, Sumatran short tail. He's actually in this tub right here, which you probably can't really see him, but that is Tux right there, who is her father. Uh, Sambuca I got through, and Tux both, I got through Kara at the blood cell, uh, though I'm not sure where Sambuca was produced. She's a chrome head, however. So that's why Black Magic is dark, but she's not my darkest Sumatran short tail. As far as snakes that are just great temperament wise, she is right up there. I can take this snake to any program. I can hand her off to any person. I can sit on the couch for hours with her. I could take her to a show for hours. Nothing sets her off. She's very even keeled. That said, Sumatran short tails have a legendary food response and she is no different. When there's food in the room, and I've been thawing food for a while, she'll come out of her cage with a vengeance. And it's not that she's mean, it's not that she wants to inflict harm on anybody, she's just not patient and she wants to eat. The most identifying feature on her is right about here on her neck, you'll see there's an arrow. Uh, she's had that since she was a baby, obviously, and that's how it's easy to tell her apart from her sister, Amina. If you were to see them side by side, they're very difficult to tell apart to the average person, but that's the easiest and quickest way to go, okay, this is black magic, she has the arrow. Uh, so this is the first snake that I wanted to introduce, and she was my first Sumatran short tail holdback, and these guys are up there with my favorite species. Uh, my actual favorite species of snake while we're on this subject is African rock pythons, though I don't recommend those for the average keeper. These are a snake that pretty much anybody could learn to work with. Uh, they're very, very calm. They're very confident animals. They're very curious. They're very interactive. And you can do just about anything with them, especially if you get them from a good source and good genetics and everything like that. You really don't have issues with these guys. So she's a total sweetheart. This is, again, Black Magic. Just wanted to introduce her. And as I said, we'll do some more introductions later on. You guys will get to meet my collection over time. Uh, right now, I'm sitting at about 120 snakes Though not all of them have names, my goal is to name them all. So perhaps down the line, I'll have you guys help me. I am very selective and picky on names. So uh, don't take offense if I don't use your suggestion. But this is Black Magic, and she is wonderful.